hello hello guys welcome back to my channel hi my name is Erin and today I'm gonna to be doing another first time watch I'm gonna be watching the movie aliens today and we're gonna be getting into this first time reaction um, I do a lot of first time reactions here on my channel I do them about once a week or a week in between each one I also do a lot of beauty videos here on my channel I love to talk about makeup do makeup looks talk about beauty in general so if you're interested in talking about movies particularly I love to talk about horror that's my favorite genre or if you like to talk about beauty then this is the channel for you definitely think about subscribing down below and hit the like button by the end of this video if you were entertained or you liked my reaction so we're going to be reacting or watching for the first time aliens i've never seen this movie so if you've seen it definitely leave me some comments down below if there's anything interesting i can learn from it or if there's some cool behind the scenes information that i can learn about this movie um i didn't grow up with the franchise i reacted to alien for the first time about a month and a half ago i want to say or a month ish so this has been a long time coming i was supposed to do this one quite a while ago i just got caught up and didn't have enough time but i really enjoyed alien so i'm excited for this one because i've heard a lot of people say that this sequel is actually their favorite or even better than the first one so i'm super excited to get into it grow up with this one like i said um in my family they don't really enjoy this type of genre i even tried to get my sisters to watch alien after i watched it for the first time and they were like yeah no we don't really care for alien horror so to each their own everybody has their opinion um i don't really love invasion home movies but you know everybody likes a certain genre that they enjoy and while i do enjoy umbrella as a general thing i definitely want to get into this one and see um how much i'm i'm actually really enjoying the sci-fi movies that i've been watching so the sci-fi horror that i've been getting into on this channel so yeah i'm excited for this one definitely like i said just think about joining the channel if you're interested and let's go ahead and get into the reaction now 57 years 57 what? years and you were out there for 57 years oh my but that is a long you time you drifted right through the core systems and it's really just blind luck that a deep salvage team found you when they did i can't imagine it's one in a thousand really 57 if years you're lucky to be alive kiddo you could be floating out there forever. The, the sleep thing preserve her? Okay, so we're seeing the crew now. Everybody's waking up out of the their little sleep beds. What are these things called? Pod beds? I, I don't know. It's pretty uh, interesting way to sleep. I Like I said, in the, I think I said in my first video, claustrophobia. Couldn't do it. Oh, he wakes up and puts a cigar in his mouth. Look into my eye. Fall in, people. This is an interesting group already. Okay, this does not look good. There's no people in here. I mean, the crew, this little group is doing great. I mean, they are they seem like they're got everything under control, but you can tell that there was, like, a huge issue here. Mm -mm. It's too quiet. It's too much anticipation. What is going to jump out at me? That's what I'm wondering. Mm -mm. Wow, this little girl survived out of everybody on this colony. She looks traumatized. Oh, poor thing. Is that the little girl from earlier? She's so dirty, I cannot tell, like, really. I really cannot tell. I would think so because they it would be random if they just bought in another little girl. Hmm. Poor thing. Her whole family is probably, probably dead. Hey, uh, I, uh, I want you to collect magazines from everybody. No firing. Are they insane? Get out of there. It's not worth it. Uh-uh. I would have been like, well, peace. Coming back to where y'all at. Mm-mm. 
are still in. Ew, why are you touching this head? Oh, what? What? Dog on it. No. Oh my god, that does. Oh my gosh, no one's gonna bust out of her chest, ain't it? Ooh. Oh, gross. Blast it, please. I knew they were gonna throw one of those in here. I just knew it. A real one, not a dream. That's enough evidence, right? 17 Dang, 17 days yeah. before someone will come. Hey man, I don't want to rain on your parade. We're not going to last 17 hours. Hudson has spiraled completely out of control. Panicking. This little girl survived longer than that with no weapons and no training. Hey, she got a point. <laughs> so cute. Why would you put her in charge? Me too. Get it together, Hudson. No, I will be scared too. I'm not gonna lie. Construction blueprints. I don't care. Anything that shows the layout of this place. Are you listening? Yeah. I need to see Looks like Ripley got back in charge again. Hey. She takes charge. She's that kind of character. This Burke. He was very specific about it. Ew, I, I'm starting not to like him. He's greasy. He's a greasy character. Right? Slimy. I knew it. I knew he was doing this for money, of course. <laughs> you really think you can get a dangerous organism like that past ICC quarantine? How can they impound it if they don't know about it? That's right. You know that you were responsible for the deaths of 157 colonies. Wait a sec. You sent them to that ship. You're wrong. I just checked the colony log. Directive dated 61279, signed Burke, Carter J. You sent them out there and you didn't even warn them. Why that is so them? sick. He sent those people out there to that ship. Didn't even exist. ship. You ever think about that? I didn't know. So now she I'm told you it existed. Everybody steps in. Administration steps in. And there's no exclusive rights for anybody. Nobody wins. So I made a decision. And what a slime, sleazy, jerk. I would throw him under the bus so fast. He basically is the reason why all these people are dead. And he's still thinking about a check. There are people like this in real life. Like, for real. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. <laughs> what was in there? Was that freaking alien thing in there? Oh my gosh, no. Please don't tell me that little crawly thing is in there. <gasps> Come on, somebody. Look at the... Uh-uh. Who is this? Of course, Burke. Oh my gosh, I wanna... He has such a punchable face. For real. What a sleaze ball. Why would he turn it... That just made me angry. This is definitely like sci-fi horror action. All wrapped up into a nice little package. Oh my gosh. You guys, 
I'm so nervous. No. Shoot. Okay, at least, at least give me Vasquez that survives. Please. That's my girl. She is a fighter, man. I love her character. No, Tom, they ran out of... No, come on, Vasquez, and you are gonna be gone? Hey, they went out like bosses. Dang. Ain't that something? Okay, now this little girl is by herself. Jeez Louise, how does she do this, man? This way. Oh, good thing they put the tracker on her. Close. That was smart. No. Ripley put the tracker on her. Ripley! Mm, poor baby. I don't like when kids are in danger. Yes, they found her, okay. Hey, come on with the let's hurry up. Climb down, honey. You've got to cut through. Dang, man. Well, they don't kill him for okay. So I knew Ripley was not gonna leave mute, and she is suited up to go. She is ready to go. She's got her armor, guns. I knew she wasn't gonna leave Newt behind. This scene is very, like, awesome. I heard with all this stuff. Just getting ready. Hey, go big or go home, right? Only thing is that she's got a limited time to find her and get her. And she's got to go back down to the, like, hive area. Because that's probably where they took her. I'm positive she's got to go back down there. It's just like the first one, she had to evacuate before it blew up and she tried to, you know, stop it and crazy. I'm so scared for her though, honestly. Okay, the tracker is coming in useful here. Well, at least she can track her down. Oh no, why did we get quiet? Oh, that's why. All of those eggs. Okay, um, hmm. That can't be a good sign here. What is going on here? Did we just see an egg get laid? By what? Mm -mm. Oh yeah, this is the queen. Whoa. <laughs> Huge and frightening. Just a nightmare. Complete, complete nightmare. Oh, the second mouth thing is always going to freak me out. Can you die of fear? How are they going to get out of here? Please somebody tell me how they're going to get out of here. 
Like, this seems impossible. It's like, back up slowly. <gasps> oh, she just went for it. Right in front of the queen. It's like, you hurt me, I'll hurt you. Threaten them. Back up or you're getting it. Mm -hmm. Just everybody stay calm. Let's all just back away slowly. the hell tip a little tilt to the head she did before she was like get all of y'all I would have did the same thing I would have just burnt it up like you're already there and honestly okay I thought they were not gonna get off I thought he had left them on the thing oh my goodness Bishop <gasps> dang ripped him in <laughs> part in two in half Okay, the queen is no joke, y'all. This thing is no, no. huge. No. Here. Here. Ripley is no joke. I know she probably wants Ripley too, because she Ripley went on that rampage with the eggs. Totally. Unprepared, surprise, sneak attack. What's gonna happen now? Okay, I have seen this scene. Even though I haven't seen the movie, this movie is in pop culture so much. I've seen this scene for sure. Get away from her, you bitch! Yeah, I knew that was coming. That's the only scene I have seen. <laughs> okay, come on, Ripley, you got it. Fire. Fire and Brian. Come on, knock her down. Oh no. The queen said I'm bringing you down with me, girl. She's cute. Come on, Ripley, get out of there. I feel like there's something on me. This was so intense, but she finally got rid of the queen. That is insane. They could have all been sucked out of the ship. I mean, that's crazy. Poor Bishop. I'm sure he can be saved, though, because he's like an AI. Leave me alone. mommy that's so sweet it's like she lost her family she lost her daughter but now they're connected together not bad for a human that's funny hey now she made friends with kind of an injury at it even though she didn't wouldn't feel safe around them at first so at least we got that out of there all right we're at the end looks like they're going home very similar to the ending of the first one they're getting into these pod bed pod pod beds is what I call them I guess they're freezer beds or whatever my dream yes you can dream don't dream about your you know terrible experience but dream good things Aww. I love this ending that's so sweet So we got a cat that survived the first movie and we got the cute little girl. And I'm 
glad at least some of the crew survived in this one because that's what I wanted from the first one, but they all died. So that's the end. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, you guys, I just finished watching Aliens. I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was really, really good. I liked all the characters. I have to say I did connect a little bit more when I'm thinking about it after I just finished up. Like, I did like these characters. I liked the characters in the first one. I really did. But I feel like we got a little bit more time with some of these characters to see how they were going to think and how they were trying to survive. So I did connect with them a little bit more. And I definitely connect more with, like, Ripley, of course, I connected with her on the first one. But on this one as well, it's just it's continuing kind of her story and her survival story and seeing how she's feeling after the first one. She had all that trauma. And I love that they added in a kid in this one. The little girl newt she was very cute and she added another element to the movie and oh my goodness it was so much more heightened fear because there were definitely way more of those aliens in this one of course obviously a whole hive worth of them and the queen was frightening i mean i'm like that was a great addition because i didn't even think like where those eggs came from on the first one you know you didn't even think about that and then of course they came from somewhere so, very good movie. It was a lot of action, never a dull moment, very fast-paced. Um, even, I think, more fast-paced than in the first one, even though that one was pretty, like, quick as well. Like, they were getting picked off and whatnot, but this one was even more fast-paced. There were more characters. Now, there were some characters that you... Even the ones that got kind of, like, a little bit less screen time, you still kind of felt connected to them because we kind of see them bonding and eating together and all that. So, that was nice. Um... Yeah, I've just really enjoyed this one. I think it was really good. I definitely see why people like this one. I have to say, just from the first react time watching of both of them, I do like this one a tad bit more. But I did like Alien a lot too. So I think I'll have to watch them both again just to see, kind of solidify my opinion and thoughts on it. But both of them were really, really good. And I love the ending. I'm glad we got more than just one survivor. And the fight between Ripley and the Queen was a great climax ending for the movie so really great movie i'm really glad i've watched this one for the first time and i know that there's more in this franchise i know this is like i think there's a lot more i'm, I'm gonna say i'm not 100 percent sure on that but pretty sure there's a lot more of these um so maybe i'll watch more i don't i want to say the third one i've heard people say it's not as good or they don't like the third one but we'll see um i might watch it but you guys yeah definitely give me some recommendations down in the description or in the i always say description box in the comment section should i watch the third one because i've never seen it um yeah thank you guys so much for watching give this a thumbs up if you like this video and i will check you out with some more first time watching um hopefully next week if i can get to it <laughs> and edit them the editing part is actually is my least favorite part but anyways yeah i'll see you in the next one you guys bye bye